from the Godfather. Top of the four. We're at the home of the Super Bowl 52 champions, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Philadelphia Eagles. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. tight end position it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL yeah you're getting really terrific athletes a lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point they continue to give you speed great hands and big bodies which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks Mahomes now on first down oh he's trying for Smith Schuster but it's intercepted Darius Slay with a pick Six. That was about the worst start you could ask for in this one because your advantage of getting the ball first is gone and they're set up a short distance from your end zone. Now you're counting on your defense to prevent a touchdown and your offense, you better be ready to come out swinging on the next series. Now on first down, Sanders not finding a whole lot as he'll get forward for about three. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. Hey, check that, check that, three, three. Second down, back to Sanders. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, there was plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, this shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Chris Jones that time coming in with a tackle behind the line. The defense was ready for the run pass option, diagnosed it perfectly. Not only did they stack him up at the point of attack, but he was met by a host of light-colored jerseys. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Another run here with Sanders. And he'll get about five here as he'll take this down inside the 20-yard line. You gotta give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. Now that's complete to Sanders. And oh, he's just gonna be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot, it'll be fourth and inches. That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got caught in the cookie jar on that one, and the flag came out, penalty against him. So following the holding call, what can they do here on third and long? The man in motion is Brown. Throwing his hurts. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. That's George Karloftis who fought his way through the line to bury him. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw up a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. 
And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. And the Eagles, they take a 3 nothing lead. So a pretty good opening drive. That'll make the home fans somewhat happy. They wanted six, but they got three in the early lead. And they should be happy. The guys look good getting down the field. That's got to give them a little bit of hope that good things are in store here today for them. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, only gave up three points off of that, so it shouldn't be a difficult hold to hold. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. And not the first quarter that he was hoping for. Now two interceptions thrown. Well, the good ones, they find a way to compartmentalize, right? Put these behind them, have that short memory, but understand why they threw the two interceptions. They go on and usually play a pretty decent game. Other quarterbacks, they have a hard time getting past it and often put the ball up for grabs the rest of the ball game. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. And he's taken down, a Chiefs sack. Michael Dana able to run him down for a loss of 12 that time. On the counter now, it's Sanders. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. So their move is to decline that so they don't get another second down. It'll be third. So that has to tell us that they're pretty confident in their third down defense, right? Absolutely. Whether it's a sub package or nickel package, whatever they want to run out there, they feel like they can defend here on third down. They'll look to throw here. And that will fall incomplete. Oh, they took a shot there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. 3 nothing after one on EA Sports. Here's Aaron Sipos now. Back deep is Kadarius Toney. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Chiefs are going to take over with a long field ahead and a first and ten. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And for this offense charge, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the inners. And Mahomes misfires again, and it's intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. But such a costly interception. Nearly a pick six, but now they're so close, they are knocking on the door for a touchdown. And I never want to get on any team for being aggressive because that's part of what their makeup is, and oftentimes it's successful. But in this case, you've got to be selective about it and make sure you take care of the football. That interception almost cost them six points. Now their defense has to run onto the field. Probably giving the quarterback a few side eyes along the way. They've got to see if they can stop a score. And that gets them three yards closer here as it brings up second and goal. Some teams like to start aggressive to begin a drive, but this is still what you expect to see in normal situations. Just call a simple run, get a few yards to begin the series, and set yourself up for something bigger on second down. Sanders again, and he's in for an Eagles touchdown. Miles Sanders, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Elliott Good with a PAT, and the lead grows to 10-0. After the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Taking it about the one. And he's able to get it across the 20 to the 25-yard line.
The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. <laughs> All right, guys. That's your All right, throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. To Valdez Scantling over the middle. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And third and eight now. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Hassan Reddick. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. Well, we heard all week that they were going to put the football in the air a lot. The problem is that is now four interceptions, Charles, that he has thrown in this first half. How do you treat a situation? What do you say to your quarterback right now? Boy, that's an interesting question because a lot of it depends on the head coach and the people making the decisions. You have to know your quarterback and know if he's mentally tough enough to have a chance to turn it around. Or is he a guy that maybe you've seen enough and it's time to go to the backup? But right now what you're rooting for is your defense to help keep you in the game, to give him an opportunity to get back on track. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. From the gun, it's Hurts. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So they get the turnover in plus territory. The drive stalls out, but still able to get three out of that. Yeah, we were able to see an offense and a defense kind of mix and match with each other, didn't we? Both of them trying to make sure that they have the upper hand and the advantage. Offense trying to get to the end zone. Defense, of course, trying to hold them to a field goal attempt. And it wasn't a guaranteed lock three from where they started. So, you know, the offense has to be happy to come away with those three points. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Screenplay, McKenna. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. A duck down to McKenna. Shedding the tackle, that gives him some room. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. I hate to say it, Charles, but the way that he has played in this first half, you just kind of hold your breath every time he drops back to pass. Yeah, you might be holding your breath, but those guys on the defensive side of the ball, they've got big smiles on their faces. He's handing out picks. Like the people just leave the candy out at Halloween and you take what you want. They're having a blast out there playing against him today. On first down, Mahomes. He'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Now another timeout called for by the offense. 
as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. This one complete to Nicole Hardman. And they will get the first down here as they move into field goal range as well, inside to 25. And now here is another interception. And the Eagles are going to have it here as they'll start at their own seven. And I'm starting to wonder, Charles, if five interceptions, is that the last that we've seen of him? Well, I think that a lot of people hope that's the last they've seen of him in this game, probably including himself. If this were baseball, the manager would have been at the mound already and asked for the ball, and he'd be in there getting a shower. But in football, you might have to go stand on the sideline. And he's going to go down. He backed up into the end zone, and this is going to wind up a safety. The goal was a score just before the break, but I'm not sure that a safety was how they expected to do it. But give the defenders credit. They saw how the series was starting out, and I think it increased their intensity. This was their chance to make a huge play before the half, and all they needed was one play to get it done. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. Take it at the 15, a short kick. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half, or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. And I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. And the Chiefs are going to take possession of the football. That is just what this defense was hoping for, an interception on the opening possession of this third quarter. Obviously didn't want to surrender a touchdown and fall even farther behind. And we've gotten to know this team a little bit, haven't we? Couldn't you just see their defensive leaders telling the offensive guys, telling the quarterback, don't worry, we got you to start things off. You take it from there. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. To throw, it's Mahomes. A dump down to McKenna. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. From the 27, Mahomes, he finds McKinnon, complete. And he's going to get this down near the 25. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Mahomes to throw on third and one. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and ten. A handoff as they run the counter play. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Patrick Mahomes from 17 yards out. And the Chiefs have cut it back within a score. And 
Andy Reid, never one to shy away from taking chances. He'll go for two. Mahomes will throw for it. And he'll get in for the two points. And that'll cut the deficit down to just a field goal. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This will be fielded inside the five. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Their lead down to a field goal now as they start with a first and 10. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. They'll lose a yard there and it's second and 11. Getting a sense that the momentum of this game is changing since the break. Nice play there and this D is fired up. On second and 11 now, Hurts. That swung out wide to Sanders. So the completion good for just three. Third and seven now. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. And this play is going nowhere as he dives to the ground behind the line of scrimmage. Call that a loss of seven to bring up fourth. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. They'll try and throw for it with Hurts. And incomplete on the deep ball. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And now possession's going to go over with a football at the 20-yard line. Hey, good way, good way. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. This is caught. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Juju Smith-Schuster on the touchdown pass from Patrick Mahomes. And the Chiefs have taken the lead here in the final seconds of the third quarter. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that will make this a four-point game. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. the line this Philly offense set to go Charles we'll see how this offense responds remember the last time they were out they went for it on fourth down did not get it and that led to a touchdown on the other side so they need a response here they certainly do and I just have a question for you you think that was a gut feel or was that analytics that came into play there deciding to go for it on fourth down that felt like gut to me what about you yeah, absolutely, because the way it backfired, where they are in the game, all those things, that didn't feel like an analytics call. That certainly felt like, hey, I feel like we can get this right now. And unfortunately, it didn't work out for them. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. But bottom line is, he takes care of the ball well for them, so they'll keep handing it to him. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. 
They'll run with Sanders. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game. Trying to establish the inside run. Run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Ten yards there and an eagle first down. Here's Hurts to throw. And once again, this is Sanders. And he's going to get this down near the 25. And that doesn't have to gain big yardage. It should be an impactful play because if you get those pass rushers second-guessing themselves that they might get hit with a screen, maybe you can wind up slowing them down just a step. And if you do that, that's a win for that play. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. They go back to the ground with Sanders. And just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the 15-yard line. Ten yards there and an eagle first down. And now all of a sudden, the shoe's kind of on the other foot. Maybe you pull the reins back here a bit? Yeah, a little bit because you got to make sure that you don't score too quickly. On first and ten, it's Sanders. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. That'll be a pickup of four as they work with this four-point fourth-quarter lead. They'll go again with Sanders. And he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the 8. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? They'll try and run for it with Sanders. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow, wow. What a game this has been, and what a drive that was, Charles, to take the lead here late in the fourth quarter. And, partner, that's a job well done by everyone, from the players to the guys calling the plays. And if I may introduce just one downside to the mix, might be a little bit too much time left. Enough on the clock for a final last-ditch effort to try and steal this win away. Now, after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game. And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? And he'll get this up over the 25 to the 26. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two. Mahomes will throw. And that's intercepted yet again, and that could be the backbreaker. Picked up by Avante Maddox, and he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. Elliott on for the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. 
They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. What do they need to do? Well, they have a thought process in mind already, but they can't get ahead of themselves. They know that they need to score quickly. Yep, two-score game. Onside kick and get the ball back and then score again, but they can't worry about the last two points. The only thing that matters is scoring quickly, then they'll take it from there. Mahomes to throw it. Looking underneath, and he finds McKinnon. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Now another timeout called for by the offense, as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the ball game. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Mahomes. Rolling to his left. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. Picked off by Reed Blankenship. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. The number seven usually lucky here. Not for him. Seven picks he's thrown in this game. That's only happened six times since 1960. And I know that the most recent time it happened, the guy who threw him, he won a Heisman Trophy in college, so sometimes you just have to rise again. do not necessarily mean it's a bad career, but when you talk about one game, seven, you're right, not lucky at all. Yeah, Ty Detmer the last to do it in 2001 to throw seven picks. What a change in this ball game in the fourth quarter, Charles. They just completely took over, and not only did they get the lead, they end up winning somewhat comfortably. And when we spent time talking with them before the game, they made sure that we knew that they thought that they were the better team in this one, and they never lost that thought or lost that focus, and they played like it in the fourth quarter. That's how you offer a late comeback and get a win.